are glad you've chosen to be an altar server. This video is for the weekend liturgy at St. Joseph Catholic Church. Both new and experienced altar servers can use this video to learn how to serve at the Sunday Mass. Let's get started. Please arrive at least 15 minutes before Mass. When you walk into the sacristy, make sure you smile and are friendly to everyone. It's important to start with a joyful spirit. Be sure to wear appropriate shoes and clothing. No sports shoes and no bright colored clothing. Please sign in before you put on your robe and your cincher. If you don't know the color for your cincher, you can ask the sacristan or the priest. Ask the sacristan if the candles need to be lit. There are normally four servers for this mass, a book, a cross, and two candle bearers. Make sure you talk to each other to determine your roles. Approximately five minutes before mass starts, all ministers, including altar servers and priests, gather in the ministry room to pray. After the prayer, the cross comes into the sanctuary to pick up the cross. The candle bearers go to the sacristy to get the candles. Then everyone lines up together for the procession. The cross, the book, and the two candle bearers. The liturgy coordinator opens the door and indicates when the procession should begin by signaling for the cross to begin. When the cross steps behind the baptismal font, the liturgy coordinator signals the book to follow in procession. The two candle bearers walk side by side holding the candles. Please watch carefully how the candle bearers hold the candle, not too low, not too high. When the cross reaches the altar, he or she proceeds to the center of the sanctuary and then walks to the stand and gently places the cross into the stand. The book proceeds with hands in praying position and bows reverently in the center line of the sanctuary and walks to his or her seat. Be sure to choose the outside seat so you can do your function at the collect. The two candle bearers process in and then bow gently at the center line before proceeding left. The inside candle bearer gives the candle to the outside. The outside gently sets the two candles on the floor behind the chair. The altar servers stand in place and actively participate in the liturgy. Hands should be in a praying position. You may use your worship aids to sing. At the collect, the book brings the Roman Missal to the presider. Use your body to hold it steady in place at a height that allows the presider to read it. After the collect, the book returns the Roman Missal to the credence table. True Christ our Lord. As the music begins, the two candle bearers stand. The outside candle bearer retrieves the candles and together they walk to their places behind the altar. The outside candle bearer goes to the choir side, the inside candle bearer to the tabernacle side. The deacon or priest picks up the gospel and steps back. The gospel procession begins slowly when the deacon or priest indicates and all turn to the left at the same time. The outside candle leads and walks around and in front of the altar to the ambo. Each candle bearer stands on each side of the ambo. Please hold the candle reverently during the gospel reading. After the gospel is proclaimed, both candle bearers return to their place. Outside candle bearers then set the candles behind the chair. After the prayers of the faithful, the altar table is prepared. The candle bearers bring all of the chalices to the altar, placing the empty presider chalice in the center. One chalice is placed at each purificator. At the same time, the cross and the book carry the Roman Missal and all of the Ciboria 
or the communion bowls to the altar. The Roman Missal is at the center and the Ciboria on the left side of the altar. The candle bearers follow the deacon or presider to the front of the altar to receive the offertory gifts. One server will have the water and wine cruets. The other server should have the large ciborium. Bow gently in unison after receiving the gifts. The server with the ciborium proceeds to the right and sets the ciborium near the Roman Missal. The server with the water and wine walks to the left and waits for the other server to arrive before handing him or her the water. Remove the lid from the cruet. Wine is given to the deacon or presider first, then the water. Replace the lids and turn toward each other before carrying them to the credence table. The outside candle bearer brings the water and inside candle bearer brings the towel. The towel should be fully opened and held by two corners. After the priest cleans his hands, the servers and priests gently bow towards each other. Turn toward each other, return the water and towel to the credence table and take your seats. Right after the great Amen, the four servers walk back to the sanctuary and stand in line for the Lord's Prayer and sign of peace. Amen. After the sign of peace, the four servers process to line up on the side of the altar for communion. If you will not receive the precious blood, gently step back one step. After the last server receives the precious blood, all servers return to your kneelers. The cross and Roman missile bearer walk behind the Eucharistic ministers. Midway through communion, the book carries the Roman missile to the credence table. Outside candle bearer carries the empty presider's chalice and its purificator. He or she then sets the chalice and its purificator on the credence table. The purificator does not get laced inside the chalice. The outside candle bearer then carries the large ciborium to the credence table and places it on the center of the wooden rack. The book carries the Roman Missal to the presider. Use your body to hold it steady for the presider to read. Return the Roman Missal to the credence table and return to your seat. Closing hymn begins, the candles get their candles and stand in place by the kneeler until the presider steps forward. The book steps out so when the priest steps forward to reverence the altar, the cross bearer can get the cross and proceeds to the middle break aisle, followed by the book who stops in the middle of the first pews, followed by the two candles walking side by side. All turn to face the altar. When the priest bows, all bow, then turn to exit. The cross bearer steps in the back of the worship space and faces the altar. The cross bearer waits until the center aisle is clear before carrying the cross and putting it back into the stand. Weekend Mass is now over. We appreciate you serving God and your community. Remember as you go, you are representing the church and people will look to you as an example. Be proud to be an altar server. Mm -hmm.